here. Let's play discuss Rambo for the NES. This is Ron Warren on with the Wii Guy and the J-Man. Yo. This game sucks. Well, what doesn't suck right here is Rambo is about to go in ECW mode here as they killed his two-minute girlfriend and now he's out for blood. First blood? Nah. There's been too much blood spilled at the scene. Yeah. Ah, this is NES. You can't have blood. Heck, it's all over Vietnam at this point. Yeah. Now, when I was a kid, I thought Vietnam was the name of the war. I didn't know it was a yeah. country. The Vietnam War. No, I didn't know it was also a country. Like, you know, the Gulf War. And then there's... I thought they, it was just called Vietnam, but I didn't know Vietnam was the actual place. Right, and then it's, it wasn't even a war. So, yeah. Well, here's a war going on right here. Gee, he's getting pwned by these... Uh, the Russian uh, spe Spesnaz or KGB agents, whatever they are, and I'm fighting an enemy from Rad Gravity here. What the heck is that? Yeah, what the heck is this? Is getting too futuristic now. Oh, you, oh, I remember the, this part in First Blood Part Two where you fight a freaking spaceship pod, whatever the heck it is. Looks like one of those pods you see in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this is what you get for cheating. No, this is why I get playing a sorry game. Well, okay, that too. A sorry game. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't be legit in these LPs like Corn Shack and others. I mean, so I cheat. <laughs> he doesn't play to have <laughs> fun. He That's plays fun. so he can just cheat. Oh, uh, we, uh, we should play sorry for the NES. <laughs> Only Monopoly. Or spot the video game. Uh, <laughs> trouble. Yeah. You're trouble. Who? Candyland. No, that's Bible Buffet. <laughs> Bible Buffet. Yeah, I'm gonna buff it out with a with a saw blade. Okay, what is this? A little bit of codename Viper going on here? With Jimmy. Jimmy who? Buffet. Oh, okay. Whoa, nice nice cut there. Yeah. Uh oh, what's going on here? That's such a clean cut that you. Yeah. Hey, look how big the helicopter is. Ah, oh, dang it. I gotta look for the key. Okay, oh, so wow. now I'm cutting to the part here where I fight Sergeant Yushin. Yushin? Yeah, Yushin Thunder Liger from WCW. You shouldn't cheat. <laughs> you should shut up. You... okay. <laughs> ah, dang it, dead end. What's wrong with you? Never played the game before? Idiot. Actually, I've never gotten this far. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anybody has. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Corn Shack and ABGN. Or Mike Mateo. No, and, uh, well, Corn Shack doesn't count. He's like, he's like a machine. <laughs> he's a, yeah, a cheating machine. <laughs> no, he plays his... No, I think he plays his LPs legit. Whoa! Jeez. Oh God! Damn it! You really let yourself go. <laughs> well, where's he at? Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, hey, you found the key. Yeah, I did. But oh shoot! I gotta fight the boss and target renegade. What the heck? Oh, oh, oh my God! What the? <laughs> Why? Why did that happen? Well, every time you hit a boss, his face gets big. Let you know what you hit him. That has to actually be one of the best kind of mechanics for hitting if you hit somebody. Yeah, whoa. Wow, that's actually quite amazing. This is lame. This is not how they fought in the movie. He threw him out of the helicopter. Oh! I'd rather be I'd rather be thrown out of a helicopter than watch this game. Well, Ash. have at it. Alright, uh, speaking of helicopters, here we go. I got the key for the helicopter. Now I'm going to, camp to rescue the POWs. And when I rescue them, they would no longer be POWs, they would be ECWs. Are those uh, prisoners of Wee Guy? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the people that Wee Guy got locked in his basement. <laughs> oh. He forces them to watch his uh, shitty LPs. Oh, shoot. Is that oh. the helicopter following me? Is that, uh, I forgot his name, the movie. Uh, Sergeant Pepper. Oh, um, Lieutenant. Dr. Pepper. 
uh, Smotowski or Trotsky, whatever. Hmm, I like troubles. All right, here we go back to POW camp. Rescue the POWs. Piece of work camp. Yeah. POW is, POW is better than this game, by the way. Oh, POW is a pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good game. Even yeah. though that's like a rip off of Double Dragon 2, but I mean, everything, everything's a rip off. Well, at least not a rip off of the other two like this. True. Even though the song is really cool. Oh. <laughs> I look like Robocop. <laughs> that LP's piece done. Or long time ago. Yeah, play. like freaking look like uh Marty McFly and how he dressed up in Back to the Future One where he's trying to scare uh, George McFly when he was asleep. Oh god, Darth Yeah, like Darth Yeah, he's yeah, just in a hazmat suit or whatever. Yeah. Are you wearing your protective hazmat suit when doing the LP? <laughs> This game is dangerous. It's known to cause uh, insanity. I think I think Jamman's got his on. I think he's got a safety helmet on too. Don't want any brain damage from this game. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Rogers. <clears throat> well, yes. You got your, uh, got your got your safety jacket on, D dude. Always you have my safety jacket on. F full metal safety jacket. Yep. Yeah, it's good for like the first 30 minutes and then it just and it stops being interesting. It's like yeah, the movie. It keeps the neighborhood It keeps the neighborhood kids away. When the neighborhood kids are away, the big boys will play. Rambo. Another boss battle. I think this is where you fight General Swatowski, whatever the heck is Swatowski, whatever. Oh, oh god. god. Yeah, that's him. I or think Tom. this is I think this is where Rad Gravity got the inspiration for the big heads. Really? Freaking, uh, that goes on. Kind of remind me of the some enemies in Ninja Turtles one. I don't know. This is weird. Yeah, they look like they just look like I don't know. I guess any of the mechanical like enemies. Yeah. What the heck is that? Who's, who's that? Oh, that's uh, General. Um, no, that's Sloth. That <laughs> there he is again. Guys. Guys, uh, I love you. Uh, Down here, rescue POW, probably the only one I'm gonna rescue, just him. So it's, like, it's like the same time you did it the first time. Yeah. Oh, you alright? I came here to get you home. <laughs> Shaggy! Shaggy! I'm weak, I think I'm dying. Be strong! We can make it! Artists get here! Here we go, and he, he's somehow with me, even though he's invisible. And now here's the final boss of the game, even though Petrovsky's dead. So I don't know who's flying the helicopter. Um, let's just say it's um, hmm. your mama. Uh, maybe yeah, it's the maybe it's the, uh, the the bad guy in part three, because he also flies that helicopter. Yeah. So this was like a future, uh, like a prediction. This is like Karate Kid. It's combining the movies. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's a good thing I'm cheating because there's no way I beat this. This is this is this talk about a bullet hell. Yeah. Forget Mario 3, Dark World being a bullet hell. This right here. You can't even tell if you're doing damage to it or not. I think if your grenade doesn't fall back down to the ground, then you hit him. Yeah, but you know, most games should be like, damage should be flashing or something, you know, it's some indication that we're doing damage. Yeah, the head of the helicopter should just grow big. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the enemy's getting big-headed. He's not gonna get ahead. Just have big head mode like NBA Jam or GoldenEye. DK. <laughs> Jeez, come on. Man, this guy really does take a lot of hits. Ridiculous. More hits than Krang from Ninja Turtles 2. Come on, there we go. It's a nice explosion effects. Get to the chopper! Hey, that's Arnold's thing. Yeah. Goodbye, Niam. 
<laughs> no, it's Rambo. <laughs> Now back to the base. Be cool, they could have made this part right here where you can actually control the helicopter and be like some Thunderblade action. Nah. Where well, you can find the helicopter that was following you earlier, but no, I guess not. Nah man, it's all cinematic. Your face cinematic. Oh snap! Hey, this helicopter just blew up and disappeared. Yeah, man, gotta destroy the evidence. Now I gotta throw my uh, Japanese symbol at Murdoch, wherever he's at. That's, I think that's the POW I rescued, is it? Yeah. Like zoinks. Yeah. Where's that douchebag Murdoch? So Why didn't they ever make an A team game? Right. There you he is. Shut up. I don't make the orders. I just take them, just like you. Oh god, that face. This was supposed to happen. It was just supposed to be another assignment. Ah! Mission accomplished. Yikes. Oh god. Ah! Take a face staring contest. Out there. Find them. Or I'll find you. <laughs> I already found you. Ah, dang it! No! Come here! What did you, what did you do? Uh oh, now it turns to the enemy frog from Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> oh, you can still talk to him though, that's weird. Uh -oh. He's back to normal, what the heck? That's so weird that you can do that, like, what's the point? Stupid, where's the colonel? There he is. I don't know, I'm going to wherever the third movie's taking place. Yeah. We get a second medal of honor for this. Oh, really? I love that game series. You should give it to them. They deserve it more. <laughs> the people deserve another medal of honor. John, why don't you come back with us? What's there for me? My friends died here. Peace of me out here too. Oh, that's deep. Or everything that happened. Maybe it's wrong. But don't hate your country for it. Hate it. I die for it. So what do you want? I want the Snickers. <laughs> I want what they want. And you're the guy who came over here and fought. Guts wants for our country to love us as much as we love it. That's what I want. Where you go from here? How, uh, how you gonna live, John? My how goodness, live, John. Day by day. Yeah, they're just recreating the ending of the movie here. <laughs> yeah, even though it's not verbatim, but of course. Wait, Rambo. The battle is over, but. There's a sequel and then another one 20 years later. Thank you for trying. We, what do you mean trying? I beat the game. <laughs> Thank you for trying to like the game. Thank you for trying. I, yeah, my, what? Oh my god, two Rambos! <laughs> what the heck? Which is the real Rambo. You should have faced the, what, the game over face. Oh yeah. Well, at least script right. Script right. Script wise, they went with the ending of the movie. That's kind of cool. That's where they show bit. more of, more of a cinematic visual than just the stupid text boxes you see through the game. Yeah. But anyway, that is the end, thankfully, of Rambo for the NES. Um, yeah, this game sucks. It's at least not as bad as Dirty Harry. Probably the best part of the game is the Rambo face. Um, but yeah, this game could have been much better if executed right, but it wasn't. Um, so yeah, but the soundtrack, you know, pretty decent, kind of catchy, uh, even though it don't fit Rambo at all. Um, then again, neither does the soundtrack, I guess, Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, yeah, soundtrack of Nightmare on Elm Street kind of does fit in a way, 
but I mean, uh, Rambo, um, the soundtrack don't really fit for this type of game, but not bad. Um, Challenge is kind of BSy. Um, the actual controls and gameplay sucks and was not executed right. Um, I might, off the top of my head, I might have to give it a 4 or 4.5 out of 10. We got. Let me see. Well, I have actually not really played Rambo. Of course, I've seen a lot about it. I do own it. Played like the first like little bit of it. Never really got. Um, didn't get really far because I mean there wasn't really a drive to really like play this game. It doesn't really entice me that much. But for what it is, I mean, could be worse. I mean, it's a standard yeah Zelda two, um, I guess clone or whatever. You know, it seems similar to other games like I guess like Friday the Thirteenth and like the like the directional arrows and where you have to go and how to navigate the world. But I mean, it could have been worse. I'm sure one day I'll probably play through this game like legit and try and beat it. But as for what it is, you know, not that bad. Of course, the soundtrack is the best part. Definitely worth a listen. And uh, yeah, just Rambo. It is what it is. And I'll probably give it, I'll probably get like a 5 out of 10. It's just average. All right, J-Man. He dropped. Really? Yeah. So I guess you will either wait for him to come back and you could just cut this part out of the recording or... Uh... I guess we can't. Can we add him back right now? Yeah, well, he joined. He actually dropped twice. He dropped the first time sometime in the middle and then came back. And then, yeah, yeah he just dropped again. Yeah, I th he's in a... Uh... He's in an environment right now with the it's not. I don't think he cares anyway. So, uh, I, I guess I'll speak on behalf of him. He might say, "You guys are too nice to this game. Um, game sucks." Uh, I give it like a two out of ten. J Man has spoken. F off. <laughs> Sounds about right. At least this game's not nearly as bad as Rocky and Bullwinkle. There's no redeeming qualities about that game at all. But yeah, Rambo, definitely. a few redeeming qualities about Rambo. It's definitely not the worst game out there, but, I mean, ugh. I'm a Rambo fan, and so I never played this game when I was a kid, surprisingly. I mean, but uh, I remember 2010, did a low-budget review of it, um, and that was fun to do, but um, the game overall just really sucks. Could have been much better. It really frustrates me when a game like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday 13th, Rambo, they have so much, uh, was the Terminator games, so much potential to be great, and then some dumbass uh, developer or publisher ruins it. Oh, and Rambo was one of those games that had potential, but it failed and wasn't executed right. But Yeah, so I guess that is it. Uh, we are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm uh, the Wii guy. J-Man46241. All right, God bless. Take care. Bye.